This is R.D. Sharma solution, class 12, chapter 12. Higher order derivatives, exercise is 12.1. x is equal to cos t plus log tan t by 2, y is sin t. We have to find out the value of d2y by dt2 and d2y by dx2 at t equals pi by 4. Now remember there is a question already being done. There is a question following also where t will be equal to pi by 3. So please understand it very carefully because the reference is already given the answer. So let us start for those who want to understand x equals to cos t plus log tan t by 2 and dx by dt we are going to find out first. dx by dt. So dx by dt, dy by dt, then dy by dx. This is how we proceed. So dx by dt is cos t is minus sin t. Log tan t by 2 is just 1 by that thing that is tan t by 2. Then differentiation of tan t by 2 that will be sec square t by 2 and differentiation of t by 2 also will be done that will be half. So this sec square t by 2 and tan t by 2 can be simplified. How it can be simplified? Because we have to make it more simpler so that we can divide it by dy by dt for the later part. So tan t by 2 and sec square t by 2. Sec square is 1 by cos square and tan is since it is in the denominator sine by cos basically sine by cos. So it will be cos by sine. 1 by sine by cos is cos by sine. So one cos gets cancelled you have 1 by sine and cos. The angle is t by 2. So 1 by sine cos. So we can write it like this minus sine t as I told you this one. So there is 2 already here in the denominator. 2 sin cos and 2 sin theta cos theta is sin 2 theta. You know already that. 2 sin theta cos theta is sin 2 theta. Sin 2 sin into 2 into t by 2. So this gets cancelled sin t we have. So you can write it as 1 by 1 by sin t it is. Remember? So let us take the LCM. Multiply these 2 minus sin t into sin t is minus sin square t. Multiply these 2 1 into 1 is 1. Multiply the denominator, write it here. If you have any problem with finding out the LCM, then this is the best way. So 1 minus sin square t in the numerator and in the denominator we have sin t. Now sin square plus cos square is equal to 1. So 1 minus sin square is what? It's cos square. So cos square t divided by sin t it will be. So this is your dx by dt. Now we are doing dy by dt. So what is uh, y sin t? So d by dt of sin t. So sin t differentiation is simply cos t. But we have to find out d to y by dt2. This this one d2 y by dt2. So let us differentiate one more time d2 y by dt2 t2 cos t is minus sin t here and we have to find it at pi by 4. So d t equals pi by 4 it will be minus sin pi by 4. So minus sin pi by 4 cos pi by 4 sin 45 degree cos 45 degree both are 1 by root 2. So negative 1 by root 2. First thing we have found out. Next one is d2y by dx2. In order to find it we need to have dy by dx. dy by dx is nothing but dy by dt divided by dx by dt. Alright. So dy by dt divided by, d, divided by dx by dt. dy by dt is what? This one is dy by dt. We have already found out it as cos t. dy by dt. And dx this dy by dx in order to find out this dy by dx dy by dt divided by dx by dt. So we have this cos t divided by cos by t sin t goes up so I am writing it in the numerator. One cos you can cancel sin t by cos t is going to be tan t. So d2y by dx2 is equal to see this is when we differentiate it we have to do or include the dt by dx also. That is when you will do d2 by dx, d2y by dx2, tan t differentiation will be sec square t. And since it is with respect to x, you have to introduce dt by dx also. So sec square t multiplied by dt by dx, dt by dx is already computed, which is dt by dx is dx by dt uh, reciprocal, right? So dt by dx is this one, cos square t by sin t, we want dt by dx. So it's going to be like this, sec square t multiplied by sin t divided by cos square t. Okay, so you can take sec square t in the denominator, it will be cos square t, cos square t and cos square will become cos to the power 4. So we have sin t divided by cos to the power 4 t. So this d2y by dx2. So at t equals pi by 4, we have to compute t equals pi by 4. So sin pi by 4 is what? Sin 45 degrees 1 by root 2. Cos raised 4 t. So it will be 1 by root 2 to the power 4. 1 by root 2 and divided by 1 by root 2 to the power 4. So 1 by root 2 into 1 by root 2 into 1 by root 2, 1 by root 2. Oh, remember, it's uh, sin pi by 4 divided by cos to the power 4 pi by 4. And cos pi by 4 is 1 by root 2. So 1 by root 2, 1 by root 2, 1 by root 2, 1 by root 2 is in the denominator. So whatever we get, 1 by root 2 into root 2 is 2, root 2 into root 2 is 2. So you get 1 by this 4. Okay. So I'm just changing it because uh, sin pi by 4 by cos to the power 4 
pi by 4 is nothing but 1 by root 2 divided by 1 by root 2 to the power 4. So what do you get? You get 2 root 2 out here. So this is d2y by dx2. 2 root 2. And dy d2y by dt2 that also will com computed that is 1 by root 2. So as I said these questions uh, we have already done. Just now we have computed one question. So this question I leave it for you. I am also giving you certain hint here as a solution for your reference. If you are stuck somewhere, you can have a look here. Now x is equal to a cos t plus t sin t, y is equal to a sin t minus t cos t, then find the value of d2y by dx2 at t equals pi by 4. So as I said, this question at t equals different values we have already done. So x is equal to a cos t plus t sin t. So dx by dt we are going to compute first of all. It's a cos t is minus sin t and t sin t I am doing it here. Let's let's do it somewhere else. So t sin t. So we'll apply the product rule t cos sin t is cos t then we have sin t dip d by dt t of t is 1. t cos t plus sin t. So we have sin t plus t cos t. Now sin t sin t gets cancelled. We have t cos t. So a into t cos t will dx by dt is going to be this one a t cos t a t cos t dx by dt it is. Now next one is dy by dt we have to find out. So y is a sin t minus t cos t a multiplied by sin t minus t cos t dy by dt equals a sin t is cos t minus t cos t this is t cos t t cos t is minus sin t plus cos t t differentiation is 1 so you have minus t sin t plus cos t but since it, it has a negative outside it has a negative outside so it will be t sin t minus cos t t sin t will be in positive please remember so i'm just changing the sign in order to get the uh, cancellation also and the t sin t in positive so finally dy by dt a cos t a cos t, uh, this dy by dt in this a cos t and a cos t or you can call cos t and cos t can be cancelled and we have t sin t remaining with a so it will be positive a t sin t dy by dt is a t sin so both of these dx by dt and dy by dt has been computed dx by dt is a t cos t dy by dt is a t sin t all right so dy by dx will be dy by dt divided by dx by dt let us divide them so we have a t a t gets cancelled sin t by cos t is tan t so dy by dx is this is tan t now d2y by dxt we have to compute this is tan t d2y by dx so this is going to tan t will be differentiation is x square t but we'll not stop it here because we are differentiating with respect to x but we have a we have t on the right hand side so we have to do d at dt by dx also tan t is x square t but dt by dx also has to be included and dx by dt we have already computed it is a t cos t so this dt by dx will be the reciprocal of that that is that is 1 by a t cos t so x square t divided by 1 by a t cos t so we have one, this x square t will be the denominator it will be cos square t so 1 by a t cos cube t it will be 1 by a t this x square goes in the denominator it will be a t cos cube t now d2 y by dx2 this uh, expression we have found out but we have to find out it at t equals pi by 4 t equals to pi by 4 so 1 by a and t is pi by 4 we have to use cos cube pi by 2 uh, pi by 4 is what cos pi by 4 is 1 by root 2 cube is 1 by root 2 into 1 by root 2 into 1 by root 2 that is root 2 root 2 becomes 2 so 1 by 2 root 2 it will be so 1 by 2 root 2 we have 1 by a into t t is already a is, a is a constant t i as i already told you is going to be pi by 4 and cos cube pi by 4 we have already computed is as 1 by 2 root 2 but this a this following uh, computation will give you 8 root 2 by a pi how this is there there let us compute it so I am putting now the values of t here as I just suggested and all these values that is t equals pi by 4, t equals pi by 3, t equals pi by 6. These are the values which are given in order to compute these type kind of questions. So I am putting as uh, it as 1 by a and then t is pi by 4 then we have 1 by 2 root 2. So we have 8 root 2 divided by 8 a pi and this is your value of t d2y by dx2 at t equals to pi by 4. Now this similar question like this says this t is equal to pi by 3 and as I said we have already done a question like this a equals a cos t plus log tan t by 2. Just I am telling you that t equals pi by 3 is, is equal to nothing but your uh, 60 degree and how do we compute it we just multiply the radian angle by 180 by pi. 
when we multiply the radi this vanity by pi we get 60 degree okay so these all computation you have to do you know how to do this x is there y is there dx by dt dy by dt divide it you will get dy by dx and then d2y by dx2 so when you divide this you have to just wherever t it is there it has to be put in as 60 degree all right now this is also a similar kind of question there are a lot of 2t involved so 2 will come in front that is the only a hint here for you to be cautious in solving these kind of questions because when you have this cos 2t, cos 3t, cos 6t, this number if it variates then you will get your question wrong. Okay, So let us do this x equals a and we have this cos 2t plus 2t sin t this is x, x is equal to a, a is outside so we won't consider it until we, are, we have solved it because a is a constant anyways. So dx by dt. So a cos 2t is minus sin 2t and differentiation of 2t will be 2 only plus 2. Now t sin 2t let us take it somewhere else and differ, uh, differentiate it and let, let us bring it back. So t cos 2t and we have differentiated this uh, sin 2t as cos 2t, differentiation of 2t is 2. Now sin 2t will be there, differentiation of t will be 1. Now this is whole, we, ha we have just differentiated t sin 2t. 2 was already there outside, so let us, let us multiply this whole what we got with 2 and write it here. So it will be 4t cos t plus 2 sin 2t. So these two gets cancelled, you have a, a outside, then we have 4t cos 2t. So we have 4at cos 2t, this, this is your final, 4at cos, or you can call it as a4t sin 2t because they are going to be eliminated in just a while. dy by dt is a sin 2t minus 2t cos 2t differentiation. We have a sin 2t minus 2t cos t dy by dt. We have to find out a sin 2t will be cos 2t. Uh, differentiation of uh, 2t will be 2 and we have this 2t cos 2t. So we'll take t cos 2t somewhere else and remember there is a negative 2 outside. So whatever comes up in differentiation of t cos 2t, we have to multiply it by negative 2 and then we have to write it here. All right. So I'm just taking t cos 2t right now and please remember to multiply it by negative 2 by yourself. t cos 2t, so t cos 2t differentiation I'm doing. So t cos 2t will be minus sin 2t differentiation of 2t will be 2. So minus 2t sin 2t plus. So cos 2t differentiation of t will be 1. So what do we get? Cos 2t minus t sin 2t 2 or you can call it as cos 2t minus 2t sin 2t. I'm multiplying it by negative 2 also. I told you to remember that. So multiply it by negative 2 and write it here. Why we are doing it? Because there is eventually in the first part when we differentiated dx by dt uh, this 2 sin 2t got cancelled here 2 cos 2t will get cancelled that is how your dy by dx will become easier to compute or to solve so as i said 2 cos 2t will get cancelled you get a 4t sin sin 2t a 4t sin 2t all right so dy by dx will be equal to so just take dy by dt divided by dx by dt so a 4t cos 2t this you can just cancel this one sin 2t by cos 2t is tan 2t divided by dx next one is d2 y by dx2 that is differentiation of this one tan 2t you already know it is going to be sec square 2t and differentiation of 2t is going to be 2 so sec square 2t and this gives you 2 2 sec square 2t but you are differentiating with respect to x not with respect to t so when you have a t on the right hand side you have to include dt by dx also we already know dx by dt which is computed to be a 4t cos 2t you just have to divide it because you have to write it here as dt by dx so when you divide this this sec square and cos uh, we have in the denominator so if eventually it will become you can write in the numerator as x cube 2t or in the denominator as the other way that is wherever you want if you are comfortable with sec uh, angle or uh, cos angle better is to use this sec we always uh, appreciate things in the numerator so we have sec cube 2t divided by 280 this is d2y by dx so this is your final one now this question will take in the next discussion till then thank you so much and take care of yourself